In order to broaden access to telemedicine during the COVID-19 pandemic, HIPAA enforcement has been relaxed. That means when it comes to choosing telemedicine software, it's pretty much any way you want it, that's the way you need it. That said, I wouldn't necessarily recommend every program. Like, if you try to stream patient visits over Twitch, the audience gets racist pretty quickly. <laughs> my first recommendation would be to talk to the IT staff of your nursing home. I don't choose which EMR my nursing homes use, and likewise, your nursing home may already have a telemedicine app preference. If your nursing home has no thoughts, here are some things to consider. Most modern video conferencing programs are cross-platform. Even Microsoft Teams is available on Linux, and if you don't know what that means... <laughs> it means that you used to bully me as a kid! However, not all video conferencing programs are designed to run on every computer, tablet, and smartphone. If you decide that your nursing home is going to use FaceTime, well, I don't own any Apple devices, so stop teasing me about it! Nursing homes have nurses, and most of them have their own smartphones and can take selfies, so hopefully the amount of training that the nursing staff need is pretty minimal. Physicians are a different story. We still use pagers and fax machines, so we're going to need a lot of help. Let's take Zoom for example. Zoom is a general purpose video conferencing tool and comes with a lot of features. Isn't that a good thing you say? Not necessarily. This is what microwave control panels used to look like. This dial is a timer, and the microwave runs as long as the timer has time on it. This is foolproof design. There's no ambiguity regarding how to use this microwave. Now, take a look at this microwave. Ooh, all my favorite options are here! We got Dinner Place and Sensor Cook! Audiophiles will love the inclusion of Turn a Table! And ooh, there's even a nightlight when I get scared of the dark! Do people actually use these buttons? And if not, what's the point? Now let's take a look at Zoom. I want to schedule a telemedicine appointment for next week. So, I guess I click on Schedule. Wait, what are all these options? No, I just want to see patients! I don't know how long the appointment is going to take. I can't predict the future. Meeting ID? Well, yeah, I want my participants to have video. That's kind of the whole point, isn't it? Telephone? Computer audio? But they're using a tablet. Calendar? Why do I even need to select an option for- What is this?! Jimmy, I think my computer has a virus. Yeah, I think it's because I installed Microsoft Teams. Look at how long this invitation is! You don't actually need to do all that in order to use Zoom, but sometimes less is more. Telemedicine has both hardware and software costs. You could buy one of these abominations and wheel them into patient rooms, but if you can afford a telemedicine cart, uh, please sponsor me on Peach. And if you're a normal person, buy a tablet. Obviously there are free software options at your disposal. However, paying for software may give you access to nice features, such as HIPAA compliance. I began this video by saying that HIPAA compliance isn't necessary right now. However, just because something isn't required doesn't mean that you shouldn't do it. My job description doesn't require that I bathe on a regular basis, but I try to do it at least once a month. <laughs> So if you have access to a HIPAA compliant program, your patients will appreciate it. One thing that I should mention is that there's a difference between encryption and HIPAA compliance. Formal HIPAA compliance requires additional measures including signing a business associate's- What? No, I I'm not a nerd. Stop calling me that! Mom! Rachel's teasing me again! This isn't an advertisement, but if you're looking for something to try, consider DoxyMe. There's a free version if you don't mind low video quality. It runs in a web browser, so it's compatible with most devices, it's relatively easy to use, and it's HIPAA compliant. And it's what pops up every time I press favorite choice.